Hi guys, today we're going to do a duct tape dummy tutorial. I would recommend getting these like painter's coveralls or painter suit things. I got mine from Amazon, you can get them from Walmart, you can get them like any hardware store really. It's a lot easier and a lot cheaper than using paper towels underneath of your dummy. Uh, just be wary of what size you get. I'm very small, they do not come in my size, so you're gonna see me here like kind of form-fitting it to my body. You don't want any extra space in the suit because then your suit for your first suit will have extra space. So I'm just kind of like adding little pieces of tape pretty much everywhere to just make it a little bit smaller. I'm also outlining the zipper. You do not want to cover the zipper because then you can get unzipped from the front of the suit. It also makes it a lot easier for me to unzip and stuff the dummy when it gets to me so I can make your suit better. You will need paper towels for your wrists and your ankles though because as you can see it doesn't cover that. You will also need a helper so my mom is helping me here because you can't tape yourself. <laughs> you can see she is putting paper towels on my feet. I would want you to cover one of your feet. You can cover both if you want, but only one is necessary so that I can put your foot paw onto the dummy and it just makes the seamless fit a lot easier. When you're taping, um, note how many like rolls you're going to need. I would say four to six for the average adult. I used, I think, three, but I am five foot two and 80 pounds, if that's any sort of reference. Uh, I know that taller adults will use, on average, about six rolls of duct tape. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be good to get stuck <laughs> mid-dummy and have to have your friends go get duct tape. I know that's happened to a couple of suitors before. <laughs> You can see here I am helping my mom tape up parts of me. Uh, that is because I'm an experienced maker and I've made dummies for like parts of my body on my own. I would suggest having your friends do all of it for you instead of bending down to do it. Make sure your legs are a decent amount like apart. I would say normal stance, hips in line with your shoulders. That way I can like get the padding on if it's a digigrade suit. And I would suggest starting around the hips, the butt, you know, area, make like shorts on yourself and then go up to make a vest area because those are the areas that are the most easily warped. And so you wanna get those done first. And a second ago you saw my mom like holding up my tail to my back to put the X mark on there. That's just my personal ref preference on where I want to put my tail. So I do ask that if you want to, you can put an X on the back on where you want your tail if you know where you want it. Otherwise, I'm just going to put it where it looks best uh, like in anatomy wise. When you're going up to do your arms, hold your arm as straight out as possible. This is helped when you're holding up like a broom or a stick or something like I am here. You want it out as straight as possible like an airplane. This will make sure that when you're putting your arms up in the air in suit, your wrist will not uncover from the paw. Um, ideally, you would do both arms, but I was having a medical emergency and I needed to get out. I have a heart murmur and my heart started skipping beats and I needed to get out. So my mom drew on the line and the hash marks you can kind of see in this shot. And that's where you're gonna cut out on the lines because it will help when you're taping them back together like this. You can line up the hash marks and it will be a perfect fit back together. Please, please do tape back up your dummy before sending it to me because it saves me a lot of time and a lot of tape because I go through a lot of tape when I'm making dummies. Just it makes it easier on me and if you're using this tutorial for another maker please tape it up for them as well i think i'm gonna show the x mark in a second yeah the x for my tail showing that it was like where i wanted my tail write down your name and your fursona's name on the chest for me so i can differentiate people's dummies 
and then you can fold it on up and put it in a box and ship it off to your maker. And that's about it. Just one other thing to keep in mind though is don't put any scents inside of your duct tape dummy if you're sending it to me specifically. Some people have put perfume or dryer sheets on the inside of their dummies because sometimes you sweat a little when you're making them. I have asthma and any kinds of scents like that will trigger me, so please do not. But I hope you have fun making your dummy. Maybe bribe your friends with some food afterwards. <laughs> and I hope to get your dummy soon. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!